Gamer Knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's your Joker, Randy Flippin. Thank you, guys, and welcome to season, um... Season 5, episode 15 of the game, where uh, Knowledge is King and Lady Luck is Queen. It is the joke as well. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. We have a champion right now who has won two games. He has up to $178,097 at the moment. But in order to announce this game and announce the champion, we need our two players. Who are the players today? Well, our two players, we have our champion, Sir Lady. Andrew Hawkins and his challenger from the new League of 18. It's Chris Robin. Hello. And it's not been formal, by the way. All right. Welcome to Joker's Wild, Chris. Great to have you. Thank you. So, Chris, are you excited about playing? This is only your second yeah. time playing this season. Yeah, I am. You think you can uh, beat Andrew? We'll see. Well, good luck to you. Fine today. <laughs> yep. Good luck to you. And Andrew has won $178,000 and $97. Good to be back, Ronnie. Good to be back. Great to have you, man. You uh, think you can win a third game? Oh, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going uh, to explain the rules right quick. As you know, the goal is to $5,000, okay? And as you know, if a single category comes up in the game, it's worth $500. A pair is worth $1,000. If you get three of the same category, which is a natural triple, it is worth $2,000. And if you do pull a natural triple, the natural triple jackpot is at $1,000 on today. And, uh, you know, the jokers are wild. You can make them any category you want to. If you get three jokers... All you have to do is answer one question from any category correctly, and you'll win the game right then and there. Y'all ready to play? Hey, yeah. let's do it. All right, here are the categories for this first game. They're the following. Nursery Rhymes, Harry Potter, 2000s Pop Hits, Geography, Monopoly, and Hockey in the form of a card game. Chris, you have the control. Go ahead and spin the wheels. Geography, 2,000 pop hits, and a joker. 2,000 pop hits, please. For how much? Oh, uh, 1,000. Okay, he's going with $1,000. Here's your question on 2,000 pop hits. What is the only band of the top 25 touring acts of the 2000s to sell out every show? Again, what is the only band of the top 25 touring acts of the 2000s to sell out every show? Is it A, U2, B, Prince, C, Michael Jackson, or D, The Rolling Stones? Can I have the answer choice again? A, U2, B, Prince, C, Michael Jackson, or D, The Rolling Stones? Either Michael Jackson or The Rolling Stones. I'll take a wild shot in the dark and say Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is wrong. Okay, you can still is $1,000, Andrew, if you can tell me the answer. What is the only band of the top 25 touring acts of the 2000s to sell out every show? Is it A, U2, B, Prince, or D, The Rolling Stones? I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say U2. U2 is correct. Good job. $1,000 to nothing is your spin, Andrew. Hockey, nursery rhymes, and a joker. Uh, Ronnie, I'm going to go with hockey for 1000 And it's in the form of a card game, okay? I'm going to roll the die. You tell me when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. We have a two, so you're going to get question two. Okay, it's Noggin's Choice, so you get to choose which question you want from 1 through 30. Let's start with the beginning at number 1. You're going to go 1. We'll roll the die again. Okay, this time it's 1, okay? It's still the same uh, 1, Hockey History, okay? We're going to do it with Hockey History. 
And here's your question. This is for $1,000. What team relocated to North Carolina in 1997? That's incorrect. Okay, Chris, you can steal his $1,000. What team relocated to North Carolina in 1997? I'm going to pass on that one. I have no idea. All right, the answer is the Hartford Whalers. The Hartford Whalers, okay? Score is 1000 to nothing. It's your screen, Chris. Please give me something good right now. Monopoly, the nursery rhymes, and geography. Nursery rhymes, please. 500 Okay. Going for nursery rhymes for 500 Your question. We wanted the baker's man to prick it, pat it, and mark it with what? Is it A, A, B, B, A, P, C, A, D, or D, A, Z? Is it, is it a B? What's your answer? Is it... Is it a B? Okay, I'm going to read the choices again. Is it A, okay. A, B, B, A, P, C, A, D, or D, A, Z? What's your answer? Uh, answer choice one more time, please. A, A, B, B, A, P, C, A, D, or D, A, Z? Tell me your answer. He's typing right now. Okay, he's typing it now. He's going with the second one, AP. That is not correct. All right, you can steal his $500, Andrew. We want the Baker man to prick it, pay it, and mark it with what? Is it A, A, B, C, A, D, or D, A, Z? Can you repeat the three choices again, please? A, A, B, C A D or D A Z? To the first one. You going with A B? Yes. A B is correct. Good job. It's fifteen hundred dollars to nothing. Is your spin, Andrew? Monopoly, hockey, and nursery rhymes. Uh, let's let's go with Monopoly for five hundred dollars. You going with Monopoly for five hundred dollars? We'll bring you to two thousand dollars. Your question. Which of these is not a property on the board of a U.S. Standard Monopoly game? Again, which of these is not a property on the board of a U.S. Standard Monopoly game? Is it A, Kentucky Avenue, B, Indiana Avenue, C, Illinois Avenue, or D, Michigan Avenue? Last one! Michigan Avenue is in Chicago, not on the game of Monopoly. That is right! $2,000 to nothing is your spin, Chris. Let's get something. 2,000 pop hits, nursery rhymes, and 2,000 pop hits. 2,000 pop hits, 1,000. Okay, your question for 2,000 pop hits for 1,000, here it is. What Gnarls Barkley music video features shots of ink blocks from the Rorschach psychological test? Again, and I don't have an answer for this one, so I'm going to hold off on this one. I'm going to... Uh, save this one because I did not put an answer on this one. I'm going to give you this question, Chris, okay? Make it an easy one. Yeah, here it is. That would be great. All right, here it is, just to be fair. All right, for $1,000 still, okay. What pop icon covered Don McLean's classic song, American Pie, for the soundtrack to her film, The Next Best Thing? Is it A, Pink, B, Madonna, C, Christina Aguilera, or D, Leanne Rhymes. It's either Madonna or Christina Aguilera. Uh, uh, is it... Eh, Madonna? Madonna is correct! <laughs> I, it was either her or, or Christina Aguilera, because I don't think Pink started yet until... A little later. But that was a good guess. Have confidence in your answer. 2,000, 1,000 is your spin, Andrew. Geography, 2,000 pop hits and nursery rhymes. Yeah, you're too. 
Uh, let's go with it's for five hundred dollars. Which one are you going with? Pop hits for five hundred. You're going two thousand pop hits for five hundred dollars. Your question on the two thousand pop hits. In two thousand, the band filter wanted us to take a what? Is it a picture? B break? C take? Or D nap? Again, please. A pitcher, B break, C take, or D nap? Okay, so I'm gonna say pitcher. Pitcher is right, good job. $2,500 to $1,000 is your spin, Chris. 2000 pop pits, geography, and a joker. Pop hits, 1000 Going 2000 pop hits for $1,000 will take you to $2,000. Chris, here's your question. Which of the following songs was a hit for Sheryl Crow in 2002? Is it A, Rainy Days, B, Hands Clean, C, Soak Up the Sun, or D, We Are All Made of Stars? Repeat that question again, please, and the choices. Which of the following songs was not... What, let me try it again. I'm going to stop that again, and now I'm going to start it again. Which of the following songs was a hit for Sheryl Crow in 2002. Is it A, Rainy Days, B, Hand Clean, C, Soak Up the Sun, or D, We Are All Made of Stars? Not the question I wanted, but okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna say maybe C? Soak Up the Sun. Yes. That's the correct answer. Good job. Wow. Twenty five hundred. I, I haven't heard that song yet. So yeah. Good guess. Twenty five hundred to two thousand is your spin, Andrew. Right, come on, Joker. Joker. Two thousand pop hits and two thousand pop hits. Toast. I'm toast. Let's go. Two thousand pop hits for two thousand. We'll take you to forty five hundred dollars if you're right, Andrew. Here it is. What rapper and rocker released the hit song Only God Knows Why? Is it A, Carl Thomas, B, R. Kelly, C, Kid Rock, or D, Nelly? Again, please. A, Carl Thomas, B, R. Kelly, C, Kid Rock, or D, Nelly? Ronnie. Yeah, because I didn't hear him. Let's see. He's going to kid rock. That is right. Good job. Good job, Andrew. So 4,500 to 2,000. Chris, you need a good spin right here. Hope for the best. <laughs> Nursery rhymes, geography, and a joker. Nursery rhymes, 1,000. Well, nursery rhymes for $1,000 will take you to 3,000. If you're right, is your question on nursery rhymes. Peter, Peter, blank, had a wife but could not keep her. Is it A, pumpkin eater, B, pie eater, C, pickle eater, or D, plum eater? Say that again. Peter, Peter, blank, had a wife but could not keep her. Is it A, P, is it A pumpkin eater, B, pie eater, C, pickle eater, or D, plum eater? There's so many nursery rhymes that I've yet to catch up on. Eh. Nonetheless, I'll, I'll take a shot and say maybe pumpkin eater. That's a right answer. Good job. You're up to $3,000 and it is your spin, Andrew. Harry Potter, Monopoly, and 2,000 pop hits. Let's go with uh, Monopoly for $500. Which is all you need. If you get this question right on Monopoly, it'll be $5,000. Your wins will go up to $138,897. It'll be your third win. Here's your question on Monopoly. In the U.S. Standard Monopoly game, which property has the lowest hotel rent? Is it A, Oriento Avenue, B, Vermont Avenue, let me try again. B, Vermont Avenue, 
C, Mediterranean Avenue, or D, Baltic Avenue? I'm going to say it has to be... I'm done for it. What's your answer? Let's see, what do you say? Uh, it's... Oh, never mind. He's writing in. The third one, Mediterranean Avenue. You win the game, Andrew. Good job. Good game, man. Wow. Thank you. All right, Andrew. So that is $5,000. Your winnings is up to $183,897. And you're going to go ahead and face against the devil in a second. Well, Chris, nobody goes empty-handed on this show. We give you $1,000 for playing, and thanks for playing, okay? All right. All right. Now we that Lucy for me. <laughs> yeah, we have a huge jackpot that we need to try to give away right away. Um, Andrew, you ready to do the face the devil game? I am ready. I did it before last time. I can do it. Let's do it. $183,897 is where he's at right now. And let's do the Face the Devil game! You gotta shut it up. Shut it up, please. You gotta shut up. Okay. Shut it up. Now. You're lucky I'm not playing you, so. Now, all you have to do, Andrew, is reach $10,000 or more before seeing Lucifer the Devil. If you manage to do that, you'll win your prize bank. Let's determine what your prize bank is by bringing down the wheel. All right, go ahead and take your first spin, Andrew. Uh, let's let's get some jokers in here. We go, Joker, Joker, and Joker. Fifty thousand dollars in cash, Andrew. You earned another spin. Do that again. I want the three jokers again. Let's do it now. And that is going to be oh, it right there, unfortunately. No. Tell us the prizes. It is a Donnie Cooper dinner worth $7,450. A trip to Tahiti worth $8,129. And an open bar set worth $3,997. Your prize main total is $67,576. No, it's not. It's $69,576. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. All right. Let's bring up the game board. That's still a good total. Now, now, if you manage to get three jokers in any of your spins, Andrew, we give you a $160,000 jokers jackpot on top of your winnings, okay? But if you manage to get um, three jokers in the first two spins, we'll double that jokers jackpot bonus to $320,000. Now remember, you can stop at any time along the way. If you hit a delve along the way, you'll lose all your money in the um, um, jackpot. But we don't take away anything from the Joker's bonus if you don't get if you get Joker's, because each Joker you get is worth one thousand dollars each. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead and take your spin. Joker's oh! Please be good. <laughs> 2000 1000 and 2000 a big one! That's $5,000, Andrew. Now, you can take that $5,000 and walk away or go for your second spin. Yeah, I, got it. I want to win the jackpot so badly. Let's go! All right, it's the last uh, chance at the double bonus. Go ahead. I'm jackpot. Come on, mate. No! 2000 250 and 1000 You got $8,250. All you need is $750 to win your prize bank. Stop or go. This could do it right here, folks. Go ahead and take your spin, Andrew. $1,750, where are you? Let's do it! Joker! Joker! He did it! 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 Well, Andrew, well 
well, 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 that is a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Man, but you did it one spin too late. If you would have done it in the first two, it would have been a double bonus. But $160,000 is not bad. So, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Wait. We're going to give you a check here. One big old check. Wow. I, I, I you, know, you know what the best part is, Ronnie? Yep. I'm wearing a green shirt, and it's lucky for me. Good job, Andrew. You have won $213,000 in cash, plus those three prizes that you have won. So, there's nothing more to say about that. The jackpot goes back to $25,000. All right, are y'all guys excited about that? So... Your winnings are at $232,576. When we add your previous winnings to it, that is a grand total of $416,473. The only thing that will follow that after this is, you know, the end of the world, but we'll be right back after this. Good job. <laughs> wow.